At Howard Energy Partners, the safety of our visitors, contractors, and staff is our top priority. However, ensuring a safe experience at our facilities requires your participation. Thank you in advance for watching this safety presentation. If you have any questions, please ask your Howard Energy Partners contact. Upon arriving at a Howard Energy facility, you should have been asked to sign in with the front office. Before you leave, please sign out. There is no smoking allowed at any Howard Energy facility. If you choose to smoke, you must leave the premises completely. At all Howard Energy facilities, the materials worked with are likely to be highly flammable, explosive under pressure, and can reach extreme temperatures of hot and cold. Also, many areas contain rotating equipment, so please keep your hands and loose clothing away from machinery. Work permits are to be issued by a certified Howard Energy Partners employee only. The only permit types issued are for general work and hot work. When you are at a Howard Energy facility, personal protective equipment, or PPE, must be worn at all times and worn properly. Failure to do so may result in you being asked to leave the facility. It is that important. The designated operator will specify the proper PPE, which can include hard hat, safety glasses, hearing protection, fire retardant clothing, gloves, and steel toe shoes or boots. Before we get too far in this presentation, let's review our emergency procedures. If at any time you believe an emergency exists but are unsure, treat the situation as an emergency and evacuate the facility. Better safe than sorry. In case of an emergency, you will be informed by a Howard Energy employee and or hear an evacuation alarm. The evacuation alarm is a long, loud, continuous horn. Evacuate to a muster point and stay there. Do not re-enter the plant or leave the area until cleared to do so by a Howard Energy employee. During your visit, you may also hear process alarms. These are short, intermittent horns and do not indicate an emergency. Rather, they are part of our work processes. There are multiple muster points at every Howard Energy facility, with one typically near the main entrance. Your Howard Energy contact will inform you of other locations. Muster points should be located prior to work commencing. In the event of an emergency, get to either of the muster areas, depending on the wind direction, and stay in the area for a headcount. Do not re-enter the facility until cleared to do so by a Howard Energy employee. There are multiple wind socks at each facility, either of which can be seen from anywhere in the plant. These are used to indicate the direction of the wind. In the event of an evacuation, it is important to know the direction the wind is blowing so you can proceed to the muster station that is upwind of the facility. There are multiple emergency shutdown stations located throughout all Howard Energy facilities. If there is an emergency that has not automatically triggered the system, a Howard Energy employee may manually initiate the system at one of these stations. Fire extinguishers are located throughout each facility, and the areas in which they can be found have been painted red for easy identification. These are for small, controllable fires only. If at any time you are unsure, evacuate. To use the fire extinguisher, pull the pin, aim the hose at the base of the fire, squeeze the lever to begin spraying, and spray in a sweeping side-to-side -side motion. Each Howard Energy facility has multiple exits that can be used in case of an emergency. Your Howard Energy contact will inform you of their locations. Site-specific SDS sheets are available in case you are working with or around chemicals or materials about which you are unsure or unfamiliar. There are three ways to access these sheets. Refer to the SDS book in the control room, ask a Howard Energy employee for assistance finding SDS sheets or with questions about the chemicals or materials, and visit the manufacturer's websites. All facilities include eyewash stations, some stationary and some portable, as well as safety showers. Your Howard Energy contact will inform you of their locations. Any injury that occurs while at a Howard Energy facility must be reported immediately so that proper care can be provided and the incident can be documented appropriately. Site-specific emergency contact information will be provided by a Howard Energy employee. 